Hi guys, good morning. So right now I'm going to show you on how you can put um, homeschooling apps on a Huawei Mate 5 Pro. So here, um, as you know, on the Huawei application site, app site, um, there's no Google apps yet. So ito, sinesearch ko siya ngayon. And then if you gonna look at it, so yung mga Google applications that you normally get on Android, you can't get it right you can't install it but ang nakalagay dito na option is to get it kasi yun nga can't find application add to wish list um hindi natin alam kung kailan magkakaroon itong mga application na to on Huawei pero there's another option that we can do so for example this one Google Classroom website and so and the other apps Pero let's focus on the things that you need na lang for, for homeschooling. Alright. So, first is the Google website. Um, most schools kasi they, they actually use Google. So, what I just need to do is to get it. Press on get and add. Okay. Ngayon, um, nandun na tayo sa browser ni Google. Alright. Um, ang gagawin lang natin is we need to make it as a home screen. So, kumbaga parang hack siya na hindi na natin siya kailangan balik-balikan yung apps website. So, ilalagay natin siya sa home screen. Add to home screen. That one. Tapos, make sure that you use phone home screen. Okay. So, para dun mismo sa home screen natin, dun mismo sa screen ng tablet, it's already there. Actually, it's, it's like um, an application, see? it's there na um, para siyang app pero ano lang siya um, um, binookmark lang natin siya so when you press it like what I did um, you automatically go to google website okay so pag nasa google website ka na since for this one I have already my son's uh, login you can already go to the google um, other features that google has so meron ka ng gmail dyan may youtube Yung Play Store, it's there, but you can't use it. Um, you also have Google Classroom. So, Google Classroom, yan yung pinaka-importante for homeschooling. Right? Kasi dyan nilalagay yung mga uh, classes ng mga anak natin. Or for my, for my end, ganun. So, ako, um, na-sign in ko na yung account ng anak ko sa Google Classroom. So, it's already here. Then, next, I need to go to the Huawei App Store again to look for Zoom. Zoom yung isa sa mga apps na ginagamit nila for face-to-face -face, um, classes. Right? So, hindi gaya nung Google Apps, this one has an option to be uh, to install the application. So, that's what I'm going to do. Just download the application. And then, once it's downloaded, all you just need to do is to hit on open or to open the application right okay and then afterwards log in so yun e, sign in lang natin yung account natin kung wala pa create an account or you can actually join as a guest okay so yun while I'm setting up um, I wanna share with you one of the most important features ni Huawei which is this so this is the kids corner um, ang dami nitong features na use, useful sa mga bata especially for the young ones um, it doesn't open up if you don't have the right lightning and as you can see here you only have limited um, access doon sa tablet and so for now this is what we this is what we have right Actually, pre-installed yan. And kung hinimbawang lalabas ka and you need to change the settings, you, re you, you need to put on the pen. Okay. So, ito, meron siyang ganitong features. So, bright light filter, posture alert, brightness alert, bumpy road, ebook mode. Okay. Tapos, meron siya for eye protection. Then, for time management, you can set the tablet. Kung ilang minutes lang siya, pwedeng gamitin. Meron siyang daily limit, tapos may length per session. Tapos, meron pang rest. Uh, sa application management, ito yung pinaka nagustuhan ko. Kasi, pwede mo lang piliin yung application na pwedeng pumasok dito sa profile niya. 
sa profile ng anak mo. So, here I choose Zoom, Nebo for uh, drawing and typing and for math and then a browser. Okay na ako nyan. Uh, inisip ko yung clock pero inalis ko din kasi syempre baka tingnan na tingnan yung oras. Kasi I just really want them to focus on school while um, doing school. Ayun. Then you ha you can choose whatever content you would want them to see so for photos and videos. And then you have the set system settings. For system settings, not very important. Um, just pwede na yung default. And then like what I've said, uh, hindi ka makakalabas ng walang pin. So parang meron kang isa pang profile, separate profile inside the tablet. Ayan. Okay. Actually, meron siya dyan na option na ano eh. Yung, you can't use the the tablet kung nag-charge siya. Which is also good. Tapos, you also need to create a profile for your kids. Okay, so, right now, I'm creating a profile. For my youngest one, you can put their gender, their birthday. Um, para lang um, ma-separate kung meron kang mara maraming anak nagagamit, pwede, pwedeng magkaroon sila ng iba-ibang profile. Only bummer here is that you can't put your picture dun sa profile. Maybe that's something that Huawei can do in the future. Okay. Pero, ito. Okay. So, let's go to Zoom. So, yun nga. Nasign in ko na yung um, account ng anak ko dun sa Zoom. So, it's here and ready to use. And then, you can join meetings or start a meeting. Okay. A Nebo. Okay na din siya. Ma-access mo siya. You can write type. You can also do um, mathematical equations here. Yun. So, yan lang yung applications na pwede nilang ma-access. Kahit sa, brow sa browser, walang masyadong control. Pero, um, I, th I think uh, they, they um, won't be able to do a lot since, like what I've said, you can also set time. And then, every time you need to change something or to go out of the application, you need to put the pin. So, ayan. Balik na tayo dun sa home screen. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon is tatawagin ko si Sean. Then, I'll ask him to try it out. 